camera librarians with the National Library Board. Today, we're here to share with you some of our favourite picture books by local authors. So Kahi, out of all the picture books that are published every year, why should we read local books? Well, I enjoy reading local books because the context is very familiar and I find it absolutely delightful when I'm able to spot aspects of local culture woven into the stories. For example, in The Boy Who Wanted to Grow a Moustache, you can see illustrations of familiar local icons like our HDB flats, our local letterboxes, and the characters even have local names. That's right, Kahe. I remember not having many books that I could relate to when growing up. Local books can introduce landmarks and local history to children. The Stacey and the Museum series does this very well as each book has a very clear and engaging storyline. Information about where she visits is woven naturally into the story. I really like that book too. Books by local authors often feature familiar aspects of life in Singapore. Within that common theme, they also deal with an extremely wide variety of experiences. We have a few books that we would like to recommend to you. That's right, Malia. The first book I would like to talk about is The Boy Who Talks in Bits and Bobs. It's an excellent example of a book which expands our understanding of diversity. It is about a boy who stutters, which causes his classmates to make quick judgments about his intelligence. However, he proves that he is no less capable than his friends and in fact brilliant in his own way. Parents and educators can use this story to teach children about empathy and understanding towards people with disabilities. Yes, sometimes children may ask about people who are different from themselves. When that happens, a book like The Boy Who Talks in Bits and Box can help us discuss the right attitudes towards difference. Other books by local authors that feature differently abled individuals are books such as Ryan the Playground Expert and Murphy See How You Shine. Ryan the Playground Expert is about a boy with muscular dystrophy who dreams about building a perfect playground. Murphy See How You Shine is about a girl with type 1 diabetes and her service dog Murphy who is blind. On another note, do you remember wanting to grow up quickly or behave like an adult when you were younger? I definitely remember that. I do, and that reminds me of another book that we would like to recommend, The Boy Who Wanted to Grow a Moustache. It's about a boy, Louis, who tries to grow up overnight by growing a moustache. I'm sure parents and children will find this hilarious tale entertaining. That's right. Although the main character of the story is a boy, parents can make the story relatable for their little girls, especially if they have observed them doing grown-up things. I remember trying on my mother's heels, playing with makeup, and even wanting to go to work. Parents can use these talking points with their little ones and talk about growing up and bond with their children. Regardless of how such conversations go, parents and children will enjoy the memorable tale of Louis and his moustache. The last book that we would like to recommend to you is Stacey Goes to the National Museum. Earlier we spoke of how this series is good for introducing local sites and culture to children. Well, I like this particular installment of the series because of how it brings the museum to life through Stacey's eyes. That's right, we hope that you can check out these titles and explore other books by local authors. An easy way to identify Singapore literature is by looking for this icon on the book's fine label. See you at our libraries!